Hi guys, good day. Janitor here. So I'm doing this tutorial as a response to a suggestion I got from one of my viewers. Uh, you see in one of my uploaded videos on YouTube, I've gotten some questions about every chord and so I thought why not make a tutorial video about it. So here's that uh, video post on YouTube. Shout out to Cryo, STG Ghost, and Rahaf for the comments and questions. So uh, on to the tutorial. So if you're using an Apple device like me, uh, I'm using an iPad Pro, uh, you can download the app from the App Store. Just search for every chord one there and install it to your device. After you've installed it, you have to allow every chord to access your photos. Uh, you can do that by going to settings and scrolling down to the app. Just for every chord here, I'll click it. And then make sure that every chord is allowed access to read and write to your photos here. Uh, this will allow every chord to transfer recorded video files from the app to your photos. And then to start recording, you'll have to customize your quick controls in Control Center. Let's go to, go to Control Center, and then Customize Controls, and uh, Screen Recording should be included on the quick controls. If it's not on there yet, it's going to look like this. So uh, screen recording is going to be listed under more controls. All you have to do is uh, click the screen recording, sorry, click the add button next to the screen recording uh, selection. And it will be included on the, in the quick controls. So after that, I advise that you configure the app settings first before you start recording. So let's go to every chord here. Let's click the settings button. And we're on the settings page. So pay attention to, to the orientation setting here and uh, read the description for each of the settings for better understanding. I'm also sharing with you my configuration so you can try if it works for you too. So here it is. And uh, once you're doing all of that, you're ready to record your videos. So go to the quick controls and then trigger the record button you might want to set the microphone on if you need to and start recording videos and then when you're done recording just hit the stop recording button And then to view the video, go back to the app, go to recordings, and then you can rename, save to camera roll, you can share or delete the recorded video so for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm gonna show you guys uh, that I'm able to transfer or I'm able to save the recorded video from uh, every chord to my camera roll so I'm recording 
the third one from from the list the 206 am file save to camera roll see it's working fine so the video has successfully been saved to the camera roll okay so to confirm that i'm gonna go to the photos folder videos that's the video uh, i transferred from every chord to uh, my photos folder i recorded this test video using every chord as well and this video is being recorded using every chord also and uh, that's pretty much it yep but if you're still having issues after doing all of that uh, I suggest that you first uninstall the app first from your device second update your iOS to the most recent version and then do reset all settings for your device so it's kind of refreshed and then reinstall every chord again and go through the steps I shared if you do that I'm confident that it's gonna work fine also pay attention to uh, your available memory space if you don't have enough space for every chord to sh uh, save the video you just recorded uh, you won't be able to play the the video you won't be able to transfer it you won't be able to do anything with it so uh, I suggest that you leave at least say 20 GB memory space uh, left for your video to save on. De that's depending on how long your uh, recording is going to be. So yeah, I hope this helped. And uh, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.